Nishi, and this is Mixed Kids. I am so happy to be here with you this morning. But before we get started with today's lesson, let me tell you who we are. We are a mix of people coming together to change lives and change the world. We are happy to bring you fun and exciting ways to know God. Our prayer is that you will share God's love with your friends and your family. Well, how many of you ever heard your parents complain about taxes? Taxes are never something good. It can take away from the amount of money that you earn. Well, every day your parents go to work and earn money. They bring home money, but they don't bring everything that they make. You see, your parents might make $20 in one day, but they only actually may bring home $18. Well, where does the other $2 go? It goes to our government, who uses it to pay roads and to fund schools and libraries and help people who may need it. You use the roads and the schools and the libraries every day, and you probably think of them being free to use. But really, they cost your taxes. But it would obviously be really hard to have you pay every time you use the road or library. So we just pay a big fee to the government every year. And then, voila! We can use all of these things. The reason why people dislike tax time is because that's when the government decides how much money you have to send to them. Sometimes they end up saying you owe more, even more than you've already sent. And that's where it becomes a little tricky and we may dislike it at times. Well, the guy we're gonna talk about today, he had a lot to do with taxes back when Jesus was around. And he was hated. I don't mean just dislike, I mean he was hated. You know why? He was a tax collector. His name was Zacchaeus, and his job was to collect taxes in his town. Take a look. Stories of the Bible, Zacchaeus. This is Zacchaeus. Hey there. Who was a tax collector and very rich. Tax collectors were hated because many people thought they were liars and cheaters. Boo. <laughs> Zacchaeus lived in Jericho, and one day, Jesus was passing through Jericho. What's going on? Jesus is here! Woohoo! Zacchaeus wanted to see who Jesus was. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, watch where you're going. But he was too short to see above the crowd. Ah, oh, that's it! So he ran ahead to a place where he knew Jesus would come. He climbed to a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus. When Jesus came to that place, he looked up and saw Zacchaeus in the tree. Oh, hey there, friend. Who, me? Yeah, you. He said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down. I must stay at your house today. Oh, all right. Zacchaeus came down quickly. He was pleased to have Jesus in his house. All the people saw this and began to complain. Ugh. Look at the kind of man Jesus stays with. Zacchaeus is a sinner. But Zacchaeus said to Jesus, I will give half my money to the poor. If I have cheated anyone, I will pay that person back four times more. Jesus said, Salvation has come to this house today. What? This man truly belongs to the family of Abraham, the son of man came to find lost people and save them. Jesus showed Zacchaeus so much kindness and he saw goodness in Zacchaeus when everyone else only saw bad. As a result, Jesus changed Zacchaeus' life. By the time they were done eating, Zacchaeus had asked for forgiveness for what he did wrong. He vowed to help people who were poorer than he was and to give back what he had stolen from them. Zacchaeus is a good example that we are never too bad for Jesus. Even when all the times we mess up and all the mistakes we make, we are never too evil or too bad for Jesus. You see, Jesus didn't come to earth just for the good people. He came to earth for all people. 
people like you and me. Now help me with today's memory verse. For the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. Luke chapter 19, verse 10. Awesome job. Before we go, let's sing and dance to Armor of God by Covenant Kids. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. You got your armor guy. Got, got my belt of truth check. Breastplate of righteousness. Shoes of peace. Shield of faith. Helmet of salvation. Sword of the spirit. Helmet of salvation. Sword of the spirit. or videos to our Instagram page at the mix underscore church. Becoming a part of God's family is a great decision to make. So if you need help understanding how to become a part of God's family, have your parents send us an email at mixkids at the mixchurch.com. And if you have taken that courageous step of giving your heart to God, congratulations! We would love to hear all about it and we would love to be a part of your next step. So again, have your parents send us an email at mixkids at the mixchurch.com. Before we go, let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for your unconditional love and your protection that, and the way that you always provide. Thank you for your forgiveness and always saying the good in me. We love you, Jesus, and it's in your name that we pray. Amen. Have an amazing week and I'll see you soon.